Founder. Alright, do I stop? Stop. Hold down. Leave the main. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. Okay. I'll be back. With the medicines. Aye, sir. I don't even know what I'm doing. Sleep darts on crocodiles? What the crocodiles? Oh, freaking hell, crocodiles. I don't have any sleep darts. Excuse me. If he's not the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. <laughs> Not those of us who become assassins instead. Just saying. <sighs> Let's go ahead and highlight these fools. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. By the me old mucker. Tonight, isn't it? But talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Stab. <gasps> I'm on fire. <laughs> stab, stab. Sabotage the bell. <sighs> All right, I got this. I got this. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, uh. One would suppose all this was for gold, or rum at least. Nothing but medicine to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessel. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What no yeah, no doubt. things these pirate ships must be. Okay, there's guards in there. It looks like four or three. Well, I did target all. Yeah, no, not even. Not even. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, I'm gonna be seen! Ah! Oh my god, they didn't see me. How? How? How did this happen? Screw it. Into the swamp. Oh, something's unhappy with me. Where is it? Oh, Jesus, it's right in front of me! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened. Just get out of here. Don't know what happened, but something happened. Do they know I'm here? Probably heard me screaming about the freaking crocodile. Wouldn't surprise me. They're going fast now. Thank Christ. I thought we'd never make it. Eavesdrop on the conversation. I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon. This, this crocodile. I don't care about you. Oh, oh, I see. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to to surrender. I've been it's just medicine. Come town, on, that's all we want. To bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. That is your mistake. As long as the supply key is with me, oh, no fuck. man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot! That guy just ran from somewhere. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Oh, no. Fall back to the mansion! Alright. Come and bleed it! Your you mistake! You Just screwed up! Stop him! Hey, stop! You stop! Come on, come here, accept the inevitable, my friend! Oh lord, love it up. Excuse me! Nope! Catch me now, assholes! 
Holy fucking crap. Okay, just hold down right trigger, don't stop. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. Yeah, I should have. It's a mistake. But he actually didn't... He has returned, Captain! He felt a conscience there. What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. You're welcome. Rax? <laughs> My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Well, you're not thinking. You got him gagged. <laughs> you're welcome, you I suppose. These waters thatch. The governor. He's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. What business is that? You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself Captain. Another year. But now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. He was adamant on staying a pirate though, and now all of a sudden he's like, I'm out. Wow, I'm not doing good. <laughs> I kinda said screw the crocodiles because they didn't have any sleep darts. Alright. You see that look in Edward's eyes. He's thinking a whole lot more about a whole lot of other things. Oh, are we going back to present day? I hope so. Mixing up the medicines. Put the lime in the coconut and drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut and drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut. You called a doctor, woke him up, said doctor. I don't know why I started saying that. Do you have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDVA wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Oh, okay. Thanks, woman. Seems I got Kid, who's aka Mary Reed. I should have figured that out, because Mary Reed was one of the female pirates who would dress up as a man. I got Steed. I got you. Why don't I have Woods or Julian Ducasse? Why don't I? Why don't I have Ducasse? I killed the man. I should have Ducasse. Probably most of those are saved for multiplayer. But whatever. Upcoming announcements. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck that picture is. It looks suspicious. Anything new on these things? Hello, sir. Are you taking notes? We all hope for that flash of inspiration to drive to the next great whatever. Thrives on method and process, steady evolution built on a solid foundation. I think I've read these already. Whatever. Okay. Meet you by the elevator. There you are. Hi, Melanie. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. All right. I'm nervous. Me first? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Go into Olivier's office. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. Yeah, he was. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Wait, 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 wait. That's the debut trailer. That's the debut trailer. OMG, that's amazing. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat. But jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes, and fighting like a devil. 
I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. <laughs> that was a bad joke. <laughs> but that's the debut trailer she's talking about, isn't it? That's awesome! Alright, you first, Melanie. I'll follow you. I'm nervous. I am nervous. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right- Hi, Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Oh, oh okay. Shouldn't be long. Well, he, yeah, you only said a few minutes, so I guess I'll just... Hello? Oh, Hello? hi, John. Do you have a second? Yeah, of course I do. do now. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system. We're going to the restricted the area. aren't calibrated correctly. Head to the right of Olivier's office. Uh, and if the receptionist complains, act like you're using the toilets. Yeah. Okay. I explored this area last time we were in present day. I saw this restricted area down here, but I didn't have the I didn't have the means to access it. Looks like John's gonna give me the means to access it. Oh god. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Yeah. Find the camera control station first. Camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. Wow. I am nervous. Oh, Desmond. Hold on, let me look at these. Look at all these cameras by Olivier's office. Jesus. That's a cool looking new logo. Alright, let's go. Nervous. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the ways. Easy enough, right? Mm. Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Number... Excuse me. Number selector change its value. Uh... Up, up. Navigate between numbers using left and right. Ah, oh, frick. Change the values by using left and right on them. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my god. I knew there was a reason I didn't like math. So I'm just multiplying all these together then. So 7 times 5 times 2 is 70. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I got this. Alright, camera control. What am I going to see here? Am I going to eavesdrop on their secret meeting? Ooh, I hope so. It works. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier, you will deliver it. Full stop. Uh huh. She I sounds like a nice that, woman. Leticia, I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Mm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Leticia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. Is that, that me? You. Good. And that is me. You. Okay, thanks, John. Both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Don't know what that means, and I don't know if I want to know. It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. I better get upstairs so, fast. What's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Okay. Assassins, Templars. Crazy hmm, yeah, real crazy. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find Ah, uh, shit, man. Oh, what are you asking you me to do? Like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. Uh, John! I am freaking terrified of you. 
I'm not, no, I'm not terrified of him, but he certainly, definitely, absolutely makes me nervous. All right, window. Aren't they waiting? I'm supposed to be waiting for them out in the lobby. Why? They're gonna notice I'm gone. John. Oh God. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. I don't believe it was faked. I knew this was important when I saw it first time I was in Olivia's office. All I was right. like, why is this here? Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. All right. Hack Olivia's computer. Oh, well oh my done, God. kiddo. Find his computer. Make it I snappy. know it's here. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Us. He just said us. This guy's an assassin undercover. I know he is. He has to be. He's working with Rebecca and Sean. And Gavin and Susan and Eric and William and all them. Okay. Oh wow, they speed up. They go fast, don't they? Ah! Okay, so I get that. I guess that's what that is. <sighs> Made it. Okay. <laughs> Made it! Oh boy, okay. Shareholders meeting schedule. That's what I'm looking for. And I'll find it. If I even need to find it. Alright. Mel Melanie LeMay. Common Neron, Chloe, Christopher, Evan, from Olivier. Olivier Garneau, that's how you say it. Okay. Salute! As most of you know, I will be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the, to the 17th, and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have gathered, already gathered, is incredible, and we anticipate even more amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations of piracy ever seen. It will take quite a bit of work to scrub the data of objectionable and classified material, but we already have some incredibly promising footage. At the same time, Abstergo Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our new Consumer Cloud Interface app. Sexy name forthcoming. <laughs> Edward Kenway's Virtual Pirate Experience will be the first complete product on offer. And the first of its kind anywhere. An immersive, interactive pirate experience drawn from actual historical data. Internal tests from our Consumer Cloud app have been encouraging, and we anticipate it will be ready in time for the next holiday season if everything goes according to plan. That's another... thingy majig. Is that the the Kenway's Fleet app type thing? Could that be what it is? Or are they just talking about the whole game in general? I don't know. I'm speculating. Closed beta for a new Consumer Cloud interface app. That's interesting. So this leads us to a broader question. What other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? A whole lot, Ubisoft. Do your magic. Judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to produce, and our understanding of consumption trends, executives at Abstergo Industries have given me the goal of producing one complete virtual experience per annum in addition to s smaller offerings. As our research allows, this includes books, recordings, films, and other transmedia offerings. Okay, so that's the annual game coming out. A second related question is this. Does Sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or could we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archive data? Remember that data from Sample 1 proved fruitful enough to create our Liberation product. It is very likely that research into Samples 2 through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well. Oh boy. Thoughts? to Olivier and all the others from Melanie. Hello all, thanks for opening the, the discussion all over. Just a brief heads up with where we stand now. I've been the Sample 17 project director for just over a year now, and my team and I have been able to cobble together a rough list of the most interesting time periods available to us through this single genetic sample. Oh my god. Remember that this is data that has already been fully or partially sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I'll try to be brief. Patrilineal line. 15th century Italian Renaissance, 16th century Ottoman Empire, 18th century American colonies, 19th century New England and American Midwest. Wow. Metrilineal line, 12th century Holy Land Crusades, 13th century Egypt and Northern Africa. Oh, that'd be amazing. 
14th century Ashikaga Shogunate in Japan. Sorry if I butchered that name. 18th century French Revolution. 19th century Napoleonic Wars in Taiwan. 20th century Summer of Love, American Pacific Coast. 20th century. That is pretty freaking modern. Obviously, this is just a small sample of potential options. The number of ancestors any one person has is well above 30,000 after just 15 generations. Oh my god. So there could be many more surprises waiting for us within Sample 17. However, despite Sample 17's rich heritage, we should not limit ourselves to this alone if we have concrete leads elsewhere. For instance, quite a few men from all sides of my family fought in both world wars, and I even have a great-great-grandfather who fought in the American Civil War. Managed to meet President Lincoln a few times, too. That's awesome, Melanie. Going this route is a little more costly and time-consuming since the data has not already been sequenced, but it could be rewarding in the long run. In short, if anyone has any confirmed connections to interesting historical events, periods, or cities, or knows of people who do, please share. I will also be reviewing the past three decades of samples collected and sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I recently learned that one of their samples, number two, I believe, participated in the trial of Joan of Arc. So there's a nice lead right there, Mel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we please get a Joan of Arc game? That would be freaking amazing. Oh, oh my god. Look at all this! That's for AC2. What is that? What is that? Oh my god, the pyramids. Egypt! Yes! I'm so excited. I'm going crazy. Oh my god, this would be- Oh god, that'd be amazing. Yubi, please make it happen. This is amazing. Egypt and the Joan of Arc game and French Revolution. Those two would be freak three. I can't count. Would be freaking awesome. To Melanie, blah 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 from Olivier. All good points, Mel. A word of caution though. Sample two comes from the late Dr. Warren Vidic himself. Collected at some point in the early 80s when he was a young engineer working at Abstergo Industries. I did not know that. So, as tempting as a Joan of Arc experience sounds, I'm not sure Abstergo Industries would be too keen on letting us rummage around Dr. Vidic's DNA. It's just a sensitive topic. Oh my god. For my own part, I'm related to Francois Xavier Garneau, noted Quebecois historian and poet. Oh my god. Exciting, right? A possible lead? Winky face. One additional freaking I don't know that word. Let's avoid digging into any modern periods, i.e. 20th century, unless we find something incredibly compelling. Yes, please. Because, as fun as World War II setting might sound, we'd do well to avoid any settings with vehicles, cars, motorcycles, helicopters, tanks, etc. Thank you, Olivier. Why, you may ask? Because our research, research has shown that memory imprinting in individuals is actually hampered by the semi-catatonic state most people enter when driving for medium and long periods of time. I see. And this makes data retrieval somewhat more difficult. In short, we don't want to go through the effort of coding extra animus features just for the sake of digging up memories of people driving around in cars. <laughs> Good point. There are other and more efficient ways to experience that. Oh gee, original Olivier. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, uh, I know I have a few ancestors that fought in a, a pfft, Battle of the Bulge. Um, an uh, ancestor of mine named Bill Schwinden, who's actually my, uh, my uncle's name right now, my mom's brother, which is pretty cool. I don't know which side he fought for, because I am of German descent, mostly, so I don't know what side, he, what side of the war he fought for. He, it could have been American, I suppose. It could have been German. Uh, I, I don't know, which I, I, should, I should look into that. That'd be very interesting. Anyway, to Olivier from Chloe, whoever this person is. Haha, ha, Quebec City is beautiful, but without pirates, ninjas, or zombies, I'm not sure how well a story without a historian would sell. Also, keep in mind, samples 4 and 16 might be off limits too. While doing my own research last month, I caught wind of some exciting characters buried in these gene samples. As soon as I started digging, I was told by people far, far above me to stop. Very odd, but not surprising, I suppose. Abstergo Entertainment has a lot of active military contracts. AE? Is that what Abstergo Entertainment stands for? Or am I just... I don't know. And I assume these had something to do with that. I didn't push back. Okay. As far as my own, if, any, if anyone is interested, my great-grandfather was friends with Hemingway and Stein and Sadie eh, and Picasso when he lived in Paris in the 1920s. 
No action-packed adventures there, but historically interesting. Just throwing it out there. P.S. Chris is our lunch meeting on, on site. Or off. Okay. Uh, to Melanie, blah, 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 from Olivier. Yes, as much as I love the lost generation, I think our first few virtual experiences will need to be a little more action-oriented. So wars and major combat operations are always a good starting point, or any periods of intense conflict, really. As for pirates, ninjas, and zombies, we could easily accommodate the first two, but zombies are a bit, how do you say, ahistorical? <laughs> Too bad, really. Yeah, that's true. To Olivier, Melanie, blah blah blah, from Christopher. My great-grandmother, for instance, worked alongside Eamon de Valera and Michael Collins for many years during the Irish War for Independence, so it wouldn't be difficult to sequence that small segment of my own genetic memories for our purposes. Olivier, actually there is a factual basis for zombies. Oh, here we go. Or zombification, anyway. Read Hurston's book on Haiti and the strange voodoo practiced there. It may not be Hollywood-style zombie magic, but it's creepy nonetheless. In Liberation, Aveline came into contact with voodoo... houngins. Houngins? If we dug further into that, I wonder what we could find. Her mentor, Agate, was into some weird stuff. Okay, I'll off-site. There's a new vegetarian place I want to try. I'll bring the spec sheets. They're already printed. Where are these freaking things? To Olivier from Kama, whoever that is. Sorry to be a dissenter, but couldn't we be using this technology to educate, not placate? I mean, theoretically, we have all of human history to explore, all of our achievements and brightest moments. So it's a little disheartening to hear we need to focus on wars and conflicts and violence. That's a good point. It's not that I'm against violence per se, it's just that violence isn't terribly interesting in bulk, that's all. There's so much more nuance to life, and I think we could explore that. So what if we found the memories of someone who worked with Albert Einstein in his patent office? Or Charles Darwin on the Beagle? Or Marie Curie in France? Moments where humans showed their very best potential. Could be interesting. I don't know if it'd be good for a video game, but definitely it would be cool for lore. To Olivier, blah 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 blah, from Evan. Okay, come on. Until oily, humor, humorless university professors start paying us eight-figure fees to s research the ref... Uh, reification of normative gender signifiers in pre-colonial India, why don't we stick to shit that sells? Hmm. I'm talking Jack the Ripper in Victorian London. I'm talking about guillotines, Robespierre and Napoleon Bonaparte in the French Revolution. I'm talking about Billy the Kid and Wyatt Earp in the wild American West. I'm talking about Genghis Khan and the Mongols killing, killing a city of millions in the span of a long summer weekend. Action, blood, adventure, conflict. Unfortunately sells. <laughs> Mostly. Anyway. Because we're not going to earn back one-tenth of the money we have poured into reli this reliving the memories of the guy who sat next to Einstein as he bit his nails while working out the finer details of general relativity in his head. For fuck's sake, man, this is a business, not a group therapy session. Evan, let's take this offline. Okay. Okay, I guess I got it. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few oh, hours. Oh, I can't go out the front door. Now wait. The receptionist. I can just go out the way I came. On. Come on. I'll try something. What are you gonna do, woman? I mean, man. What did you do? What did you tell her? Oh. Come on, whatever. man. That's just cold stuff. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. Oh, <laughs> please don't do that. Seriously. This guy is freaking me out. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. I am not comfortable with this guy anymore. Come on, man. We were Trekkie buddies. We were getting along so well. And then you have to go and say all this mean stuff to me. Come on. <laughs> Why you don't mean? Okay, is it Rebecca and Sean again? I bet Sean's still there at the coffee shop, but is Rebecca there again? Or is it somebody else? Are we gonna see another familiar face, perhaps? Oh boy. Did you uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled. No, it's Rebecca again. Long. Okay. Oh come on! It's not encrypted codes for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Computer's hacked for what? Okay, I guess that's just Olivier's computer. Hi! I'm back! Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, 
You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. <laughs> Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Oh, Will we? Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. <laughs> Will we be in touch? Okay, I am returning to my animus now. Well done, friend. Very Thanks. well done. Apologies for my temp tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll says the guy who says he's gonna remote detonate my earpiece. <laughs>